But are you up for something new when it comes to your game day grub? How about a recipe for beef on weck? We're back with game day grub here at Everbank Field. I'm here with Michaela Bradley. How nice you doing to see today? You. Great to see you, James. We're here in the uh, Everbank kitchen today uh, with natural gas. Uh, what we're going to do today is make a beef on wet. A lot of okay. Buffalonians will know this as a sandwich. You might know as a French dip sandwich. Okay. Love that. So what we're going to do here is we have some sliced roast beef. We're going to take that and we're going to warm it up in this uh, okay. au jus sauce we have right okay. here. So just, just pour it, in. it right in, right? Real simple. It's just going to warm up for just a brief second. Okay. That's all it takes. So we're going to pick some of that up. We're going to put it right back in the bowl. And what happens after a little while, this stuff makes a very nice gravy after a few times of that. In the oven, what I have here is the bread. And this is what makes the beef on weck, folks. The bread will have uh, caraway seeds, kosher salt, and we'll bake it for about 10 minutes, just so it's nice and toasty. So, I'm gonna flip it over. You, you, Michaela, you're gonna spread okay. some of that horseradish sauce all over it. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Some people like to use fresh horseradish, but you feel free to use the creamy horseradish however you want. So what we're gonna do is take the beef, okay. we're gonna spread it up right on top of it. Oh, there's nothing like a sandwich like this. This Especially looks amazing. In, With the side of the chips, I mean, heaven. Oh my God. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over like this. We can cut this in half. Actually, I'm gonna cut this one half so you can see the inside of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place that sandwich just like here. Oh, look at that, just spread it out a little bit. Feel free to use your chips. You can put a little horseradish sauce with it and that's your beef on what, Michaela? What are you saying? I think it looks amazing. Thank you. To view this recipe and to find out more information about natural gas, visit peoplesgas.com slash cooking. The Gus Bradley Show returns right after this.